everyone and welcome back for another microgreens episode. Today I'm going to show you how to plant your sunflower seeds. Here I've already soaked these in water and I've already sanitized them and they are ready to be planted. Here I have my 10 by 20 trees. I have the bottom one and to keep this elevated above the water for when it's on its light cycle I use rocks. I have my 10 by 20 tray with holes in it. And then I'm going to fill it with my cocoa core. You can use cocoa core or any kind of potting soil. Uh, one thing you want to look out for is wood chips. Don't use garden soil, just stick with the potting soil. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and fill this up to about right here. So let me go ahead and do that and show you. And if you guys would like to know what kind of cocoa core I'm using, it's actually a brand by Plantonics. I can put the link in the description below. Any little clumpy bits, go ahead and get those out. One of the reasons I like to use cocoa core is because it's a plant renewable resource and peat moss comes from bogs which only cover about 2% of the planet Earth and they come from Canada and Russia. So the cocoa core is just cocoa husks, coconut husks, and it's got great aeration and great water retention. Okay, so now you have your cocoa core laid out or your potting soil. What I like to do next is take the top lid and compress it down a little bit. What this does is kind of gives me a little bit of sowing lines, if you will. All right. Now you can spread your seeds these sunflower seeds like to be next to each other, but they don't want to be on top of each other. So go ahead and sprinkle them as best as you can. It's okay if when at first you have some on top of each other, because you, I will show you in just a moment how we spread the rest of them out. And it's actually a little bit of common sense if you think you can already guess it. Don't be afraid of those corners or edges. And one of the great things about sunflowers is these are probably one of my favorite microgreens right now. They're ridiculously tasty. They have a very nutty, buttery flavor. And they're just really easy to grow. They do require 24 hours under the light. Another good method to remember is it's okay to underseed rather than overseed if you're worried about anything like mold. All right. See, now these guys are kind of next to each other, not really too on top of each other. Just sort of spreading them out very, very lightly with my hand. All right. Now, we're just gonna water the top seeds and the top soil. We're not trying to get too much water to soak the soil. We literally just wanna water the top seeds. And I'm pretty satisfied with that. Now we go ahead and take our cover, which is our last 10 by 20 tray. This I have books as an added weight. <clears throat> it's good to go with anywhere from five to 10 pounds. Sunflowers are pretty strong. And you might be a little bit worried, like are my sunflowers gonna push through this? And the answer to that is yes, they are gonna lift this thing up off the top 
And once this is about an inch above, we know it's ready for the light cycle. And there you have it. That is how you plant your Country Creek Acres sunflower seeds. I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again.